Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys. Welcome to WomanInTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about pushing, and I want to show you why pushing occurs, especially under pressure, and what you can do to avoid pushing and play freely and powerfully, even on the biggest points and on the most pressured situations. Now, almost everybody watching this video, probably you, under pressure will be guilty of not finishing the stroke. Why? You know that you should finish the stroke. We're told by tennis trainers, complete the stroke, catch the racket, get the racket over the shoulder, wrap the racket around your back. We're told all the time that it's important to swing through the ball and complete the stroke. And yet in tennis clubs all over the world, you will see players, sometimes of a very good level, that when it really matters, that stroke will be stopped here. And when it's stopped here, there's a deceleration through contact, which means you don't just lose power, you lose feeling as well. The biggest single reason for that is that the racket opens up just before contact. If I was hitting in this direction, you might be able to see. See, if I come through here with a closed racket, and I'm here with a closed or neutral racket on contact, from this closed position, the complete ending of the stroke is natural and automatic. But it's very natural under pressure in a desire to control the ball to open the racket just a little bit before contact. So I have a closed racket, and now the racket is opened. And now if I complete the stroke, I will launch the ball long. And so now we have a vicious circle where the racket opens and the stroke has to stop short. Subconsciously, you will feel that if you swing through the ball, you're going to make an error. And so now we have a slow, pushy stroke, which might have control and consistency, but it's not going to win at a good level. The correction for this is not to think about ending the stroke. You see, if the racket is open here and you end the stroke, you are going to make an error. And so the tendency to stop the stroke and not complete it is very correct. But the solution lies in closing the racket face prior to contact. And to do this, think about the back of your hand, because if we were totally aware of where the racket head was, then we wouldn't actually need to think about anything else. This wouldn't occur. But during the heart of the stroke, when you're swinging quickly, it's very difficult to be aware of where that racket head is. Some players probably do, maybe the Roger Federer's of this world. But this video is not for the Roger Federer's of this world. This video is for people who would like sometimes to play a little bit close to that. And so think about the back of your hand. See, as I make the stroke here, I can see the back of my hand. And I know that I can see it without looking. As I come into the swing here, I can see the back of my hand. And I know I can see it without looking. And as I make the stroke here, I can see the back of my hand. And I know I can see it without looking. If I know I can see the back of my hand, the racket face cannot open up. As soon as I open the racket face, then the back of the hand is invisible to me. It's directed to the ground. And now I need to slow down and push to keep that ball in court. So think about the back of the hand to solve the problem. Problem of not finishing the stroke is not going to be solved by concentrating on finishing the stroke. The cause is actually in the contact. So keep the racket face closed by seeing the back of your hand through the stroke and then feel that you're seeing the back of the hand while watching the ball. And then you'll be able to put the two things together and make pushing and slow and cautious tennis a thing of the past. You'll play powerfully, free and better under pressure. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game. And if you like my ideas on tennis, check out what we're doing online. We have books on every part of the game with detailed biomechanical breakdowns of the strokes and then super simple illustrations helping you reach the next level. Or for a more personalized service, check out what I'm doing with online coaching. I'm helping players in over 40 countries all over the world with a unique blend that begins with video analysis but then goes on to much more personalized one-to-one -one lessons. So remember, the solution to not finishing the stroke, to pushing under pressure, is not to be concerned about the ending and not to be concerned about the pushing. It's the setup for the stroke itself that will cause the problem. See and feel that the back of your hand is open to the sky or to your eyes and to your sight, and you'll avoid this open racket place, and you'll play better and more power sleep even under pressure. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.